What up, Hard Squad? Today we're opening up a first edition base set booster box. This time it is in French because I will be attempting to pull every single first edition base set Charizard, but in every language available. And today we are opening this sealed first edition base set box in an attempt to pull one. But before we get into the festivities of this lovely day, this is a Charizard V from the Elite Trainer box of Champion's Path, but you will see it is graded by none other than Beckett or BGS, but looky looky, it's a pristine 10. There are 10s for every category except centering, which may or may not be if you want to get it graded in another way. A 10? This is at least a PSA 10. So this, my friends, I thought on this grandioso day, why don't I give it to one of you in the Heart Squad, in the Pokemon community, instead of just keeping it for myself. So if you can, please consider subscribing to the channel, leave a like, and let me know your favorite base set pack art in the comment section below for your chance to get this lovely card. Good luck everybody to that. Next up, I do want to just quickly say this video is in support of mental health awareness, specifically for the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Um, my channel, this community, we have been heavily, heavily involved with raising awareness and funds, especially NAMI and mental health awareness. Last year we raised almost half a million dollars for NAMI and I will, be I will be doing something this year, but I just wanted to take a quick moment to say you are not alone. This community is here for you. Please, please, please don't be afraid to contact your friends and family. And most importantly, you are needed and you are wanted. Thank you so much, everybody. But let us take a look at this. A French first edition sealed booster box. And I'm going to try to pronounce the words in the Pokemon, like Dragafo is how the name of Charizard. Tortank is Blastoise, and I think it's like, I didn't even know Venusaur, I'm sorry, but this is really cool because the boxes are different in other languages than English, because they do have this little side that's open on the box. It does have the logos, which is very nice because the original first edition base set box, as you know, has a clear wrapping. This wrapping's a bit like sturdier stronger but on this side it is also a hole right there here is the back if you would like to read i don't read in french and i will not try but i will try for the pokemon itself and then here is the bottom of bucks i know you all love that so um why am i doing this it's because one this box is from my personal collection i wanted to do a absolute crazy video for y'all y'all deserve it the heart squad deserves it and most importantly I want to go after a French Charizard that I believe I have not pulled yet. But really quickly, here are the first edition base set Charizards that I have pulled. Perhaps. It's Charizard! Water. <laughs> no way. Rattatat and the Charizard has been pulled already! Yes, 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 I can't believe it. And of course, the first edition English base set Charizard that was lost in the mail for like five months. It arrived back at PSA five months later and that got a PSA 9 when grading. That is on a video on this channel, uh, grading lost Pokemon card, but you know, we gotta keep it going, we gotta keep it going, and I wanna go for the French one. So without further ado, I thank you for being part of this amazing community. Let us, I don't even know how you like, well, how should I open this one? <laughs> just, a, I guess just like that, surprise. Uh, I did open up a Chinese base set box and pulled the big three from that one, as you saw in the video. So that was the more recent one, but let's see, oh my gosh. Here it is. Are you ready for this? Oh my gosh. Hold on. There we go. 
Is that not beautiful? Hold on. Ah, oh, nothing like 20 year old base set packs. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Look at the pack, the pack arts from these. They're brighter than their original counterparts, it looks like. It does have the first edition stamp. And of course, for your chance to get this guy, let me know your favorite pack art. Comment section below along with subscribing and leaving a like. But one thing to note, they are, I guess from time, kind of curvy. I don't know if that means there's a hollow on the inside of those particular ones or whatnot, but it's, everything looks fine. I'm really hoping that as we get to the very first pack that the uh, cards that we get are in immaculate condition because the PSA 10 uh, Charizard goes for like between 50 to $90,000 at the moment. It's really just what somebody will pay for it. The previous sale was around $40,000 uh, for it. Um, Blastoise is much less, but still around 25,000. And then Venusaur is even less than that. But just want to get a fun time showing this and everything. Um, I think I know the card trick from an, uh, I opened up a regular pack way back when. So let's see if I remember it but I hope everybody enjoys this opening. So it should be like one, two, three. This is the hollow, I think. So please do it right. All right, it's Oteria. Yeah. All right. Uh, by the way, shout out to all the Heart Squad members that live in France. How y'all doing? I appreciate your support. I would love to travel there someday. All right. Garrison Total, full heal, I believe. Carabaf, very cool, War Turtle. Abra, I know that one. I indeed know that one. Chalk Sai, that's kind of cool. Transfert for Switch. <laughs> Sakadenu, yeah, I'll just go ahead and say that's right. Uh, Podre Toxic for Tangula. I know this one. Onyx, yes. Next up. A Chrysler, just go ahead with that, you know, strong like Metapod. Energy, does it have the energies? Energy in a Pidgeotto is the non-holographic rare. This is gonna be fun. I love it when there's energies like that. So we can say the energy. Let's take a look at the centering real quick. Centering looks nice. No whitening, guys. I know they're different uh, as far as how quality of cards are, even per left side to right side of a box. Sometimes there's factory lines on that side. Sometimes the centering's different. Even from the non-hollows to the hollows, they're printed on different sheets. So uh, the quality could be different. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in a sleeve. It's just natural like that, but let's go with the next pack is the one and only. Can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> really hope you're enjoying this. This is a lot of fun though. Uh, next video, I'm opening up a Jim Heroes booster box, so get ready for that. Uh, so it's so weird, the, the card trick, but it really does protect the cards a lot. A lot of times, um, there could be dust that gets in there. And of course, the whitening is the worst thing. Herbazar, okay. Uh, what do we got here? Entratian. Um, Lippo. Lippo, it's my favorite Pokemon. Uh, Salamesh, or is it Salamish? Melech, Ugh. Coolio, Raphael, and Donatello. Sporific, very nice. Our first Squirtle of the day, Carapuse. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> energy. <laughs> It's a Draco Malfoy Dragonair non-holographic. Oh boy, this is gonna be a fun video. This is gonna be a fun video. I can see it now. All right, now into this one. We'll see if this really heavily bent pack, which is fine, you can always straighten it up. The Blastoise pack, my favorite artwork personally. That's what I would put if I wanna get that Charizard, the Blastoise pack art. Let us see what we can do behind this one. Wait, am I doing it right? Okay. I think I did it right. Centering looks nice. No whitening. A Porygon. Adaptation one. 
Adaptation 2. I like that card, because I can read it. I like this one too. Plus power. Magikarp. I don't think you need to say the A, like that. Magikarp A. <laughs> um, the Seattle Supersonics. Star Ross. Pikachu! It's a universal length because he's just made up. Pikachu, right? Is that how that works? A Pititard. Okay. Bulbazar. Is that my first Bulbazar? Yay! Or Bulbazar. Excuse me. Energy. Whoa. Is this an Alakazam? No, it's a Pokemon trader, I believe. Mark into Pokemon. So the uh, it is a little curvy. That's okay though. This uh, this is pretty exciting so far. <laughs> Every single time, I think I don't, I'm assuming the pull rates are around the same as an English box, around 11 to 13 um, holographics that you can pull. So eventually we will hit one. But most importantly, um, I'm just thankful that we are here today as a community. Oh no, this card. Oh whoa, it's Rapunzel. This card, like the back card looked a little off center, but I don't know. We'll just go ahead. Pokédex. Very nice. Kanaratiko. Yeah, far-fetched. Uh, Aspicot. Coolio. That's forever. Like his name now is just Coolio. Pikachu. This is very nice. I, need, I should probably uh, make sure those are in good condition. Nidoran Male. Charmander. Energy. Energy! And it's a repel! I don't know why I was getting so excited about that. I'm about to sneeze though. I guess the dust on these cards. All right, get it into the chart. I really just want to quickly say again, thank you, thank you, thank you for being part of this amazing community. If you're new here, please do subscribe, not just for the Charizard, but for some wholesome Pokemon content. I post new videos. Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturday, and Sundays, 1 p.m. Central, 2 Eastern, 11 Pacific, 12 for you Mountaineers out there. And I appreciate y'all as always. All right, like I said, this is just for my personal collection. I wanted to do a big opening for y'all. All right, this is good centering on this one. Will we hit uh, just our first hollow of the day? Magikarp, reanimation. That's a cool name for a card. Nidorino. Double American Pied. Smogo! <laughs> Coughing. He's spurific. Staros. Nidoran Male. Know that one. Phantominus. Gasporific. Prelevente du Destin. Now I sound like I'm like in speaking in Spanish. Sorry about that. Energy. Energy. Whoops. A Dog Trio or Trio Picure. Seisme for Earthquake, I guess. Wow, so we have still not hit from a pack Venusaur. My boy, I know you got something, but can you see just the difference in the artwork? I know, like, maybe on screen will have popped up an English pack art. Um, they are more brighter on this one, and there was different print runs for the English one, not just of like the first edition Shadowless and Base Set, even Base Set had Unlimited, had different print runs where the pack arts were a little bit brighter than the other one, so lots of cool information. All right, my friends, can we get our first holographic? There's a Macho Pure, and repair Spectrum! See, Haunter's awesome, especially because I pronounce that. Phantom Minus. Sasquatch, Doug Duo, there's one, Voltorb, I don't think you need to pronounce the E, Smogo, Pokemon de Base, Energy, Energy, and there we go, our first holographic of the day is a Magneton, it is off center from the right to the left. But wow, 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 what a cool looking card. What a really cool looking card. I don't see any factory lines on the holofoil itself, which is great. And, oh my gosh, guys. There's no whitening on the corners, just like the other, that's big. Even with the centering as is, it can still come back a fantastic grade. So carefully putting Magneton, which is in the same, that's so cool. 
it does feel like the color, like it's a little faded or something, but that's just how, you know, reprinting the cards in different sets are. So that's not going to affect the grade or anything. So, wow, our first hollow foil of the day. But I still need to pull the Charizard. And of course, any of the big three would be absolutely amazing. But let's see what we can do in this next pack. Hopefully keep the hollow train going with a liposuction. Super Potion, I know that one. Magmar, they're in English, yay! Chrysler. Starry, not star you. Bulbasaur, very nice. Uh, Diglett. Oh no, can y'all see? This one's bent. See it? Right there, right there. Card is bent. That's okay though, it's just a common. Energy! Energy! And it's a Pokemon Breeder! Nice centering for that one, so I will take it. A Pokemon Breeder has been pulled. Wow, we are tracking through the packs and only one holographic has been pulled so far. So hopefully you have been enjoying this incredible opening that even I was not predicting that I would do so early. But I thought, let's just go crazy. Uh, Tetarte? Centre Pokemon. Spectrum with a little, uh, wow, that's kind of really rare. There's a print line on Spectrum. It's fake, it's a Spectrum. Nidoran male. Rattata, it's the same. Machok. <laughs> Starry. Transfoot. Energy. Energy! And... A Clefairy doll, or Pulek Melofi. Well, I will take a look at this one. A little whitening right there on the side. Otherwise, the corners are fantastic, so I'll take it. I am taking the condition that these cards are in, especially for how old they are. Um, really quick, be sure, your chance to get this. Subscribe, leave a like, let me know your favorite pack art. Is it Venusaur? Is this the pack? that has one of the big three, or the man himself. Let us see. With doing the card trick very, very carefully. And here we go. All right, Defender. I know this one, just like the plus power one. Double energy in colore. Um, Polly. Leo! Wait, that's so weird. So his name's Bill, right? But my name's Leo, or Leonhart, or Lee, whatever, or Lee, whatever you want to call me. And it is the name's Leo in French. That's cool. Magnety. I would love to know the translation of that. Ratata. Like, why is Bill Leo? Uh, Sable. Goopix, or Volpix. Ooh, is this a sign? Is this a sign? Energy. Any. Hitmonchan holographic! Whoa, guys, look at this! There's hollow bleed. Like, look at this, along the whole card. Is that how all the uh, hollow foils are supposed to be? Because I may have noticed that on the uh, Magneton. Centering is great on this one. No whitening. Oh my gosh. Wait, is there factory lines? I didn't even see. This is big. This is really, really big. If there are nothing wrong with these cards, in the hollow foil bleed is maybe that's just how they are. Look, there's hollow foil. Like I wouldn't subtract su like subtract that from the grade of a card. I can't tell if it's like that on Magneton, but Team Gotten mm -hmm. Hitmonchan, everybody, come on down. All right, so two hollows out of the way, and I am still just loving this. Not only is it an older box. But the fact that they are in very nice condition, which is very important. All right, because no matter what card we get, if that comes back a perfect grade, whether it's from Beckett or PSA, we're in business. Machoke, Machop, Maggie, Pony, that's Ponyta. Chenipan for Caterpie. Another Squirtle, but this one also has the little bend in the card right there. Interesting. Just like the, uh, was it the Weedle? Energy, energy, and another Draco Malfoy for this one. Well then, two hollows 
in this first edition base set box opening have been pulled. I'm curious, I don't know the prices off the top of my head for the ones that we have pulled. They probably will have been on screen. Um, but Hitmonchan in English form first edition is a very difficult card to grade and this one looks perfect. So Candidos, Flute Pokemon, Farfetch'd, Abra, Staros, Aspica, Leo, Salamach, Energy, Energy, and a Raichu Holographic. Now this one is like the Magneton, it is off center. However, no factory lines on this one. Not sure if I see any holofoil like the uh, Hitmonchan, but let's take a look at the back. Once again, a perfect card, minus the centering. So that is what we are going for today. But a Raichu holographic has been pulled. This Raichu Raichu, is this how you pronounce it? They don't change the name on that one, or at least the pronunciation. All right, Blastoise. I think it's time. I, th I, th I think it's time. I'm putting in my call. There's a Blastoise in the Blastoise pack art. That's it. I said it. It's gonna happen. It's gonna have not pronounce. That is not gonna happen. Is my myself pronouncing the name of that? Can you know? <laughs> Dugong. Wait, Dugong. Oh yeah. In evolutions in 2016, Dugong was turned into a rare. So, Chetapan, Ponyta, Polly. Suppression to energy, 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 and it's a nine tails. I saw the red for a sec, but I love it. A Fernard or nine tails centering is much better on this one. I don't see any factory lines on it, which is good. And dust came off. Once again, my friends, these will be on a guess that grade in the near future. I promise you that. Deflagration is the move for this lovely first edition Nine Tails. Put in that in the sleeve, because that is a beauty. Next up, read all about it. I'm getting nervous, because it's like, technically the odds are we should get a Charizard in a box, I would hope. Um, three cards. Okay, and away we go. Rat attack, yeah. Well, attack, I said, not the ah. Kadabra, that's spelled the same. Potion, same. Same, neither and not the same, Volpix. Onyx, Smogo, which is bent. Interesting, how they all are like that. Energy. Energy in a computer search. Yeah, for all you computer search fans out there. I'm just gonna go ahead and sleeve that one up and put that in the big old pile of not holographic cards <laughs> or non holographic trainers. All right, Charizard. So I didn't get my call. If that was the pack or the one before that, I apologize. Um, however, is it the Ninetales pack that I got the call from? Anyway, all right, let's see what we can do. Venusaur, I mean, Ivysaur, Professor Chen. Okay, I didn't know Oak is changed the Chen, but okay. Pikachu, very nice. Vulpix, Chrysler. Coolio, Spirific, Whew. Energy, Energy, a Gyarados Holographic, Leviator, all right, centering is perfect for this one, no factory lines, and the, if, if these do not cap, come back, like BGS 10s, Bullis, Draco Malfoy Rage. I I would be surprised. Like, not maybe, no, obviously the ones that are a little off center, but like this one, this is beautiful. This is an absolute perfect card for Gyarados. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I'm so happy right now. All right. It's my happy face. Not doing the happy dance, by the way. That's only if I pull Charizard, so I will do that, so. Uh, but I gotta be careful with the card. <laughs> If I do pull it. Oh, centering looks beautiful on this one, so it's probably not a hollow. Then again, the Gyarados was a hollow. Hey, I say Kakuna, you say Matata. Transfert. Sorry about that, Tangula. Everybody gets their equal due to showcase them. Chrysler. Doduo. 
energy, energy, and a Pokemon Trader. Is that our first duplicate of the day? I think it is. I think it is. That's okay. All right, Charizard. I choose you. One of the big three has to be in here, I would hope. Three cards, and away we go with this pack. Plus power. Wow, it's an Arcanine. Oh yeah, Evolutions, he was rare, and then of course, yeah, you know. Okay, just like the Dugong there too. And Farfetch, can we get a Farfetch? Spurific, very nice Squirtle. Abra, it's bent. Energy. Energy! It is Zapdos! Electrifying its way into our hearts. Off center just a tad, but not by much. No factory lines, and once again, Oh, dust came off. There you go. Take a good look, because that is another perfect card. Elect Thor. It's Thor! <gasps> yes! Thor! I've pulled you! That's awesome! One of my favorite base set hollows growing up was Zapdos, and now we've pulled it in French. All right. I'm happy. I'm happy. I continue to say that to myself, but it's good. We're all Gucci here. All right. Let's go with this pack. Arcanine, as it is out of focus, so I'm glad I caught that. Reanimation, cool card. Ratata, Voltor, Tax, excuse me. Leo, Donatello. Oh, Machop, Energy. Energy in a B drill, non holographic. All right, Heart Squad. Unfortunately, we have run out of time for today, but look, we have more. I will get to the rest of the box in another video in the near future, but I thank y'all so much for watching. In the meantime, if you want more openings, click on those right now. My name is Leonard. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I will see y'all in the next video.